like to go to my favorite places. Amen. Amen. You're my favorite place. Oh, I'm his favorite place. Okay. <laughs> preached just preached heaven down that was good one focus your focus needs more focus one focus i was waiting on you to say that it was good we just came out of chapel service chapel was amazing of course dg the incomparable evangelist deborah george pastor evans pastor ashton just amazing like man Chapels has always been my favorite service. <laughs> Even when we were going here, like, of course, I mean, Sundays are amazing. I mean, it's Dr. Rod Parsley, but chapels, hey, <laughs> chapels change your life. Every single time, chapels changed our life. So today was no different. Bless you. Today was no different. It was a blessing. Excited. Day two. We here. What's up, everybody? Just left chapel, had some lunch. Now we are heading back up the road to the hotel. Powerful service. Powerful service. It's been a good, good morning and afternoon, early afternoon so far. I think we got a free day. Well, free day the rest of the day. We're gonna try to rest a little bit. Again, we're in the middle of conference planning for Get Up Girl 2021, so. I will, you know, nod off and then get a text and wake up. That's pretty much what my day is every day. But it's necessary, it's necessary, it's necessary. It's going to be a great conference, so I'm excited. Willing to put in the work. That's the key. You can't say you want to do great things, you're not willing to put in the work to achieve it. So, uh, great things happening, great things happening. We are on our way to the wholesale, stand up by the airport. They remodeled the whole airport. I think it's amazing. Like the whole airport is nice. Like it's so sweet. So what are the, some of the most frustrating things about traveling? Like what are the, some of the hardest things? If you had to talk to another upcoming traveling preacher wife or preacher, preacher wife, well, what do you? <laughs> what do you want to tell them? I, I can't really. I don't know if I can really give a preacher wife advice in this way when it comes to traveling because I'm odd. So like. Usually when we travel, I drive. 
I drive us there. I drive us back. You I look good driving too. <laughs> you look good. I try. I usually I'm the driver. Um, so some some wives look good at. But I think honestly I do it too because I'm used to driving you as the pastor. And it's sort of a pretty it's a privilege. Like it's I count it enough. So uh, I'm usually the driver. But I think it's just, you know, just always like pack and uh, make sure you have what you need. Like try to uh, get the rest you need when you can. And stay hydrated. Drink a lot of water. That's the big. I don't care where you go, whether it's local, domestically, or internationally. Drink a lot of water when you travel. Water does hidden things in your life that you would never know is being kept by water. So drink a lot of water. Take vitamins. I mean that's practical stuff but for real. Especially when you're as busy as us. Stay prayed up. Spend your time in your word in the Lord um, in your prayer closet. Find a prayer closet like this morning. In the room we have. I found a place and I went in a prayer. Um, I think sometimes we travel and we think you know what we do at home is not what we need to do on the road. But we don't need to stop anything. You know you keep you just readjust. Make whatever changes you need to make and um, you know. But still do it. Stay consistent. Consistency, consistency, consistency. So yesterday you showed us your bags and your suitcases. Right. Why don't you tell us what's in your travel kit? What do you have to have? Like what's your... Do you, do you travel with a te teddy bear? No, I don't. What? No, I don't travel. <laughs> I do not travel with teddy bears or anything like that. I'm not a partial to anything. It's more like stuff I need so that my voice doesn't go. So like I have to have Zarbies. It's like this mix of stuff that's you put in hot water, clears your cough, mucus, and all that stuff. I have to have it. Have to have like honey drops because I just have to keep my nose and stuff clear as best as I can. So all my stuff is for like my voice. Taking care of your voice. Yeah, like I don't clothes and stuff like you that. Yeah, one like, focus. I don't, I don't really care. Like it's just make sure I look right. Um, I know I should have said toothbrush, but I just figured that's a given. <laughs> like you should, should you take your toothbrush? No, but for real, like that's the one thing I gotta have. I always gotta have like stuff for my voice and sinus stuff because I, I'm overcoming sinus stuff usually. Um, but uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's very important. To me. So when you travel, how do you keep things at home, like moving together? I have good, good help. I have good help. I, I can say I have really good help. Um, particularly, I shout out to my mom. My mom has always been a huge support of me in ministry, and that is a, a testimony to her. She raised us in the church, and you know, a lot of parents see their kids grow and begin to do exploits and things in the body of Christ, and sometimes they can get a little shady about it. Um, but not my mom. My mom is my biggest cheerleader, and she does that by always taking care of our boys and uh, however she can help, you know, <laughs> she's something else, but <laughs> not in a bad way, but, you know, just, uh, I have good help. I have good help. Of course, the team, the office team, good assistance, good, just good help, good help. And uh, we, we're sort of a community. We, we use a, a community model with our family, I think, uh, which helps it. So whole lot of prayer, a whole lot of good people who um, we can trust and love us and uh, we're able to do it. A lot of delegating. You got to delegate a lot. Make people step up and rise up to different things they didn't think they'd ever do or could do. So um, I think with the schedule that God has given us and the ministry God has given us, people have to step up. You cannot be around us and say, I'm not going to step up or I'm not going to do what Whip Whatever. that whip, baby. Yeah, I'm driving a Suburban right now. It's like, why we got this big old car, y'all? It's only <laughs> But no. I'm, you know I've always driven big cars. Except this one time. Let's talk about this one time. Pastor Evans <laughs> drove out, uh, flew out to California to pick up some merchandise. He was driving back like a 26-foot or super long pickup um, rental truck, box truck. And so I went on the ride with him. I almost blew up a gas station because I ran over a pump. But everybody survived. Nothing caught on fire. Just the tire busted. <laughs> you did not. That oh, was the you one. did not almost run over. I did. I Please said, correct. I ran you over. ran over. I ran over the guard. Over. The guard that guards the gas yep. pump. 
I ran it over yep. and it popped the tire on yep. the Penske truck. <laughs> That's the biggest vehicle I've ever driven. And I didn't. I mean, I got us half, I got us back to Knoxville in it. Other than the tire incident. I'll tell you this, y'all. For those of you who are uh, husbands may be watching this. When she ran over that gas pump, she was so shaken <laughs> about what just happened. And for me to break that shaking, I made sure immediately she drove us back to Knoxville. Yep. She did not stop. <laughs> she did not stop at her place of fear. Yep. So as husbands, we have a responsibility to make sure our wives don't stop Preach. at their place of fear. They don't get yeah. stuck. That's how you support them in their gifting. That's how you support them in their calling. When she's fear, when fear tries to grip, when she's intimidated, don't stop. Get her back on the bike, get her back on the wheel, and God will use her in a mighty way. Yes. Come on, just back. Give us a shout out as we go to the next part of the day. What he said. Here with the Rev. We decided to go out for a little bit. One of my favorite places in Columbus, Ohio is Easton Town Center. And that's where we are. And we're at one of my favorite places to get my favorite treats. Let me just help you out real quick. This place right here. <laughs> love it. I love it's just simple cookies. We're frosting. And I love it. And other treats and sweet. But we are in Eastern Town Center again, one of my favorite places to be while I'm in Ohio. Has all the restaurants. It has a London feel. I've never been to London, but my husband says this is what London is like. Um, I mean, I've passed through London many times while traveling to Kenya, but this is, um, it's beautiful. I mean, all kinds of restaurants, light. it's like an outdoor mall, but it's like a sophisticated outdoor mall. It's so nice. It's beautiful. Uh, I'll give you some scenes and show you around while I'm over here, but one of my favorite places, and I'm going to go upstairs and get some popcorn at the AMC Theater because AMC has the best popcorn. I'm just dropping all kinds of uh, shout outs for people because why not? Why not? Promote brands, free promotion. Yes, we in Columbus. <laughs> you look so amused. We are in Easton. <laughs> see, see how pretty it is. You see that? I love this place. I could be here all day, especially at night, because like all the lights light up. I'll give you more video. Easton Town Center, favorite place. Beautiful. I'm about to go holler at this AMC popcorn. It's a dining theater. So great. And they're open. They are open. I'm excited. Yes, yes. That's that's the store. Babe. Let's go in there. Uh-huh. We here. We in here. It's cold in Ohio. I always forget how cold it gets up here. You know in Tennessee I didn't have none of this on. Tennessee I was walking around with no coat on. Now I'm here in the coat and hat again back in winter mode. Chill. This is popcorn. I just got a whole bucket of popcorn from AMC because AMC is the best popcorn. Is you just gonna get a whole lot of things packed like things packed like AMC popcorn. Now yes, I'm from the South and we are Regal Cinemas. We have a lot of Regals. However, Regal's popcorn does not hit like AMC. AMC's popcorn tastes fresh, organic, and not like it's microwaved. It's like somebody is out there in that field chopping the corn and then somebody grandmama Becker decided to pop it. It's serious, babe. Yeah. <laughs> you it's serious. Me. It's serious. So I just go get me a whole box. Well, it's, it's a luggage. Get down, get down, you got to. I mean, I'm only in Columbus every now and then. So when I'm, you know, here, I like to go to my favorite places. Amen. Amen. You're my favorite place. Um, his favorite place. Okay. <laughs> So, uh, day two's in the back. We're back now. Just left Easton. So now we're getting ready to shut it in for the night. Yes, this is my husband plaiting my hair because I'm trying to do a wavy look. And I can't, I don't see how people like braid their own hair, like much talent. That's my real hair. Okay. <laughs> much talent to women who do that. My scarf is here. I'll do it. But don't put it on yet. Don't put the scarf on yet. I'm still vlogging. Don't put the scarf on. Do not put the scarf on yet. You're good, baby. My husband actually plaited my whole head. Yes, he plaited. He plaited the hair to make sure I get the wave tomorrow. Look at him. Let Look me at know that. what you think about Look those plants. Look at that. Look at that. Nice yeah. and even. Yeah. 
is. Cause can your husband even? I can't. Can your husband can even? Can your husband even? <laughs> Ew. Okay, you're weird. All right. Yes, day two in the bag. It's been a good day, full day. Husband and I got to spend some time together. Tomorrow we're back at it. We got workshops. We got classes to teach back over at the school. So we're excited. So be with us tomorrow. It's going to be a good night. Have a good night, everybody. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.